messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Um, I'm booking up really quickly lately, so make sure that um, if you want your reading, get in there and book it. It's a 30 minute or a one hour or a two hour phone call reading. Okay, Virgo, hope you guys are doing well. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for supporting the channel and please do hit like on the video if you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel. I upload every day uh, a reading and I'm doing this reading today so it will go through the month of August. Um, so let's take a look and see what the energies are here playing out for you, Virgo. I'm gonna do the Celtic cross spread to the past position present striving the reading let me just get something out of the way here okay the challenge <clears throat> crowning near future your advice the other person the hopes and fears and the outcome okay now hopefully you can see that um all right Let's see what the love messages are here for you guys for this time period. What does Virgo need to know regarding love? Virgo's love life. What does Virgo need to know? Okay. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay. That's a really good thing. Um, does not mean... And I want to, they're just telling me here to say that. It does not necessarily mean that the person you're currently with is safe. That's something that you're going to have to determine. Um, but it may mean for some of you that it is. Or the coast is clear. They just said the coast is clear. Open your heart. You can love again. Okay, Virgo. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, you have trust. Situation is calling for you to have faith. All right, Virgo. Wow. <clears throat> now, this doesn't apply if you're in a situation ship. If you're in a situation ship, it's safe for you to get the hell out of there. Okay. I just want to put that out there for whomever is, you know, in this, it, that particular situation. All right, let's take a look. Past energy, Ace of Wands, Inspiration, Urges, Passion, um, something new, something that had the potential for growth in the past. Okay. Definitely there. Somebody might have come into your life or you started something over in your life, but there was a lot of, you know, this can be a very sexual card for some of you. So this energy might've been playing out a very passionate, you know, if you're female, um, somebody you were with, like you really, gave them incentive to grow <laughs> in whatever way you want to take that or if you're male the same type of a thing but let's get a clarifying card for this oh my gosh the ace of wands both of you a lot of a lot of vibrational energy if you know what i mean i feel like two people were really into each other really connecting really wanted to be together it was a, maybe just a lot of fun. Um, there was just like this, oh, this oomph, you know. And with the butterfly on there, there was a lot of like something transformed. I feel like it was a very physical connection in the past that really gave, gave two people purpose or reason to keep something going. Very strong attraction there. The present energy, though, there's changes here. Okay. Now, for some of you, the challenge here is putting effort into this relationship, okay? Um, now, this could be the person that you're connecting with. There's a challenge here. There's, there's an obstacle, and the obstacle is consistency. So this might have been a connection with someone where it was very physical, but all the elements of the relationship just weren't seemingly panning out to make it grow into a deep healthy relationship um now your person over here has got seven of swords so i just want to say real quick this person maybe they were quite deceptive or uh stealing or they ran away 
a lot of the time or they're currently like this is their energy but we'll go more into that in just a moment here so let's take a look at this wheel of fortune because i'm seeing like a turning point happening here okay you have the sun wow there's an energy here where I feel things are looking really good in your life at this time, Virgo, like at least for the month of August. Um, so we do have Leo energy. There is Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, um, Virgo, and Capricorn, if you're connecting with someone. But I feel like things are changing and looking good. Things are turning in your favor and they're it's very positive changes okay so what is this obstacle here this obstacle with the eight of pentacles kind of feels like um it's really hard to keep things the challenge is commitment sustaining this relationship on a consistent basis okay and that might just be for you and this person or both of you okay let's take a look i'm going to see here Okay, five of wands. Yeah, there's a lot of defensive energy. You might be dealing with someone who has a hard time, or maybe it's you who has a hard time um, staying organized. Relationships. You know, when somebody loves someone, it makes it all the much easier to want to be consistent in that relationship because there's a longing to connect there's a longing to stay connected and so that shows up behaviorally um and if you're connected with someone or you were in the past where this person maybe said that there was love or they, they were feeling feelings for you but their actions were showing differently that's a huge red flag okay um now there because it, it really just kind of feels like that's what the situation is here but I feel like regardless of whatever is happening in your love life, you're really in a really good place at this time in your life. Your outlook is good. You have the sun. You're um, like positive, like things are going to work out no matter what, whether it's with someone that you're currently with or someone new that you could meet. Like there, I see like you have a very successful like glass half full thing going on in your mind right now some days might be less than that other days might be more than that okay but i feel like the challenge here some of you it's like do you want to maintain this relationship do you want to keep putting effort into it okay um there is a very strong physical bond like physical attraction but there's something going on here where um Either you are not sure you want to keep investing, working on this, okay? You might be definitely kind of defensive right now. It's a real, it's, it's something that you, I think you're taking a look at because you may not be sure um, if you want to open your heart up to this person to move things, see if it goes anywhere, moves further, okay? Um, you're definitely trusting yourself, but... There's something coming up here. I just want to get some clarifying. I want to get another one. Okay. The Six of Swords. Yeah. There's something here. Like there's a transition that needs to happen. A necessary change. Um, and you know you guys that don't usually read reversals. But this one flew right out. There's um, stagnancy. There's a, a difficulty in moving on. Okay. So there could even be travel issues. So I kind of feel like you're feeling positive about the connection, but at the same time, you're not sure, okay, um, if you want to invest or what you want to keep doing. Um, you might be blocking this person. Um, there might be a lot of uncertainty right now, and you, even though you're positive about the connection, you're not sure you want to go forward with it, okay? Whether this is a past thing or somebody that you're currently dating, um, Let's take a look. What's driving you here? Your subconscious. It's like you're trying to see the situation a little bit different or gain some perspective on this. 
I don't really feel like you're in this place where you need to make a decision. I don't feel like it's a decision right now. It's kind of like the relationship, the connection brings a lot of challenges. Somebody might be very defensive or um, there might be like um, a lot of competition surrounding this person uh, vying for their attention or vying for yours. It could be both of you, you know? Can this connection work out? Can this relationship work out? And that hanged man, um, what's driving you like underneath it all, I just get a sense where you're like, do I wanna sacrifice myself for this relationship or this connection? Is it worth it to me? So I don't know that you're making a decision about this. I just kind of feel like you're in this place. Like, I'm not sure if this is worth it to move it forward. We have a great physical connection, or we did in the past, but and there is potential for growth but maybe it's too early for you to know okay let's get a clarifying card okay yeah see two of cups so it's like all right maybe we're just friends with benefits for some of you not intentionally for some maybe but maybe it's like if it's not that if there's just the feeling of attraction is there but nothing has come of it it's like, I don't know if we could do this. Is this person consistent? You know, are they, are, are they just, are they looking for more or are they just soaking up, you know, all the love from other, everybody else? You know, I feel like you're just trying to see things from a different angle about this connection that you're in. Is, is you know, can we come into agreement? Can we come into line, alignment about the partnership? Are we equal, you know? Um, there's some diversity here between you and your person okay so whatever that might be and it's like is it gonna work can it work right doesn't mean you know I mean I feel like there's a consideration of all the options here okay can we get on the same page so you're gosh you have the ten of wands crowning down on you your head space it's like you're overburdened by this right now I feel like you're really focusing more on staying positive and joyful, um, glass half full energy for yourself during this time period. Look, Ten of Swords. You're in the, I'm sorry, wow. They, they gave, first saw the Ten of Swords, but then the Five of Swords is what it actually is. Again, with a five, un, un, uncertainty, unmanageability. Um, your thought process maybe i should just end this maybe i should just cut this person off uh, there's something you're seeing here virgo where either your person is not willing or is un or unable to commit and put in the effort day after day after day or, or the things that you need they might be uh, causing a lot of challenges in the connection and i feel like you're kind of like sussing things out right now here this relationship you know um should i just cut it off like i said it could very well be a decision at this point now because the two of cups is here and two does represent you know opposition or partnership go for it it represents partnership choices as well so i, I do kind of feel like you're mm, staying positive trying to be open trying to trust and not let anything trigger you or past things pop up for you that make it difficult for like you know what i mean that influence you're trying to see things clearly you have the king of pentacles coming forward here so the king of pentacles you know virgo this is somebody who has a lot of similarities despite diversity between the two of you so this person shows up whatever sign they are they show up as very solid um, someone who's considerate and thoughtful about investing. Okay, why is this King of Pentacles showing up here? Oh, Queen of Cups. Hmm. 
Okay, so we definitely have a partnership here between two people. Okay, Queen of Cups represents water element. Um, and the King of Pentacles represents earth ele element. So one person's very emotional, showing up very emotional, and the other person is showing up um, very solid, okay, and practical. Let's take a look here. Let's get another clip. What's going on between the king and the queen? Not gender specific. Doesn't have to be. the specific signs. But let's take a look here. What's going on between... Wow. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is what that change is. There is going to be change going forward between you and this person. And it will be for the better. Okay? Um, I feel like you both are coming together sometime at the end of the month. Uh, to affect change in this relationship, to get things moving along. Somehow you guys connect. Which direction? Because it's usually a positive direction. Okay. <laughs> so your person was connecting with somebody else, and they have ended that relationship. Okay? Or they have, or they're not paying attention to that person anymore. All right. Now, listen, this Queen of Wands could be an influence of somebody else. It doesn't have to be a relationship in a romantic sense. It could for some of you. But for others, um, this Queen of Wands could represent someone significant to your person and to you where either both of you or one of you is no longer letting another person influence this relationship. You both come together and make this decision to get things moving forward, okay? Um, and I feel, Virgo, that you, whoever you've been connecting with is sensing that you're kind of on the fence and thinking about whether or not you want to do something or not do something. I cannot believe... Now we have the King of Swords. So some of you, either it's it's either a married couple or parents or siblings, um, could very well be influencing or saying something about this relationship, okay, and possibly trying to tell you to forget about this person. It just could be other people influencing, and for others. Maybe both of you met and you both had significant others and you're both done with those relationships and you and this person that you have this connection with are coming together. Um, and it could also be um, your person was with someone and the person they were with went back to somebody else. All right, we're going to leave that there. But I do feel no matter what these influences are here, there is an energy here of things moving forward between you and this person. All right. Um, it's like a really good thing. Let me just see here. Let me get another clarifying card. Yeah. Oh, communication is definitely coming in from this person. They've been watching spying um, they're coming in with some pretty this is like um it's either a phone call or a text message or piece of mail there's some truth coming in <clears throat> from this person um they may be wanting to know what you've been doing or what's going on or what your thoughts are kind of like picking away at your brain trying to figure out like do you it could be asking questions. This is a card of very being someone who's very curious, um, asking each other questions and trying to get at some truth. Like, what are we doing? Are we moving this forward? What do you want? Um, what should we do? How should we handle things? Yeah, eight of wands. It's about forward movement. It could be about travel, um, Cupid's arrows, positive energy, good news coming in from somebody. Now your advice here, Virgo, is first of all, if you've moved into to a new home, I see you being very prosperous with that. 
Um, and if you're thinking about moving, I feel like you should stay where you are right this at this time. Okay, don't don't pick up and leave just yet because there's something here about whatever you do, wherever you're going, whatever's going on, you need to seek support, um, structure and stability, uh, safety. You may need to have conversations um, with other people that you can open up and talk in regards to like family members. Um, if, you're, if you've started a new job, I see you doing very well in your new job or whatever, um, or something you've started on your own entrepreneurship. And if you um, are thinking about leaving your job, don't because it looks like um, what's going on is going to be very positive. Like you'll, you'll be in a lot of abundance. Uh, you'll be able to retire at some point very soon. Okay, Queen of Swords. Your advice is to be very, don't gaslight yourself. Be very open and truthful and honest about what you need, what you want. Set your standards with anyone, okay? If there's something that could possibly progress here with someone, make sure that you give the truth and nothing but the truth, but be open and willing to listen, right? You need to communicate. Okay. <laughs> You have the four of pentacles. So I feel like communicate your truth, but don't don't put yourself in a position where you're completely open that you can be um, hurt. Even though it says it's safe for you to love, I feel like what I was saying in the beginning is you have to be very careful. Um, it doesn't mean it's safe for you to love someone in particular, um, but you don't want to be so closed off that your heart is so guarded and locked up that there is no opportunity for love, okay? Because the Four of Pentacles is, uh, you know, you definitely desire long-term security and safety in a relationship, and you need to express that. Forget about the love for a minute, right? Just forget about the feelings and the emotions and try to be practical and tell someone, you know, if you're going to move forward with them, this is what you need, okay? Now, let's take a look at this person's energy. Seven of Swords. Maybe they were, maybe they ran away from you or something, or they're just kind of sneaking around or being deceptive or giving you false promises or false hope or something along those lines. Okay, Three of Swords here. All right, so the message you're just giving me here, this person has, like, they're really heartbroken and they're pretending that they're not, okay? And they also have left a relationship, okay? They kind of just snuck away from, they got their heart broken, definitely. They're in heartbreak mode. Maybe somebody ended something with them because they were dishonest with them. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they had like a, you know, it feels like your person, they view you as being like someone they truly want to invest in here with this Ace of Pentacles, not just the Ace of Wands. They see this here with you. And I feel like your person, they're getting out of some kind of a heartbreaking situation or an argument. I feel like they tried to give what they could give in another relationship of some sort. But they also might have been cheating on another partner or they were just doing some deceptive things with somebody else. Okay, now we've got... Hmm. All right, Virgo, here's what I feel. I just They just gave me the phrase, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. You need to be very careful because I feel like this is a situation for some, not for all. This person may have done something in another relationship and they either got kicked out or the other person they were with dumped them or just got rid of them. And now they're kind of trying to come back to you, but you're not so sure because it's kind of like, wait a minute, well, it's a challenge. This person, are they able to be consistent with me? Are they going to do the same thing? I don't feel like, for some of you, I don't feel like this person told you 
what happened. And if they're coming back or coming around or connecting with you again in the near future, it has a lot to do with, I hate to say it, it has a lot to do with this person was messing around and they got caught. And it feels mostly like their person. I don't ever really go into you, your significant other, and then their other people. But when I see that deceptive energy, it's kind of like... Do you ever hear the saying? Because they're just saying to me now. If he or she cheats on you, he or she will cheat. If he or she cheats on their other person, they're likely to cheat on you a lie be deceptive that kind of thing you have to that that might be like what you're doing here virgo you're kind of like wait a minute you know is this per should i just cut this person off because how they were in their past relationship they were lying like it doesn't matter there's no excuse if they were with someone that was lying and cheating on them and then they did the same in return and then they say well they were you know lying and then and, and this is what i did that's that's not be living in, that's just reacting. That's not being in a place of integrity. So basically like, okay, well, if one person jumps off a bridge, you're going to do it too. Like, no, know who you are. Be who you are. Be with integrity at all times, no matter what other people are doing or what excuses they're giving. So I kind of feel like you might have this person coming in telling you, oh, you can trust me. It's safe for you to love. You can open your heart to me. Okay, you can trust me. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why I was kind of getting that energy at first, like, hmm. Yes, you, you should have your heart open to only people. Sorry, 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 I was coughing. Have your heart open to people, Virgo, who give you a sense of safety and security and you know you can trust them. That's really what it's about. Don't be walking around with your heart wide open and just letting anybody take a shot at it because you're too valuable um, to have someone come in and hurt you, right? You know, that's why boxers, they got their dukes up. They're trying not to get hit in the chest or in the face, right? <laughs> All right, so the tower is coming in here uh, pretty strongly. So some of you are just kind of hoping this situation will just, this person maybe will just go away. <laughs> So you don't have to make any decision, right? And for others, you're hoping that like lightning will strike this person in their, either in their groin area <laughs> and there won't be cheating or hoping that it will just hit him right in the head because that's the, the crown chakra here. That's the ego. That's like blowing off the ego because this person could be a little bit in a very egotistical place, right? And ego, being in the ego doesn't always mean somebody's walking around cocky. Um, ego just is kind of like compensation for insecurity. So either they put on this front or they just kind of act like um, they don't need anybody and they do that by being coercive or covert um you know abuse doesn't always have to be forward action like abuse doesn't always have to be taking a bat and hitting someone with the hood with it it could be um covert abuse where neglect is covert okay pulling away silent treatments right you got a lot of stuff going on virgo you got a lot of stuff going on uh, for some of you, I feel like this past thing right here, if this is how your relationship started, I feel like you need to take a look at the the trigger. Look, Take a look at this trigger, okay? Um, because the trigger induces the craving, the craving induces the response, and the response induces the reward. And then it cycles around again. And it goes in this vicious circle, right? The trigger here is a very strong, very strong physical attraction with a potential for more of the same and not necessarily the potential for a healthy relationship. 
because a relationship is more than just this. This is a beautiful component to have. You also have to have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. You have to have it all. Um, all you have is the physical right now. So I feel like it's really important that you pay attention to that. There, all the elements have to be there to begin a relationship. And that also, like I say before, requires capability, a willingness, and a motivation to move something forward, okay? Capable to be honest and truthful and open, all right? So what's the outcome? All right, the outcome is this person, okay? The near future, maybe some communication about you know what are you up to what's going on love bombing not necessarily in a narcissist way but just like miss you um, let's get things going let's connect let's get together that kind of thing but the outcome here this is like it's like back to the beginning okay it's the physical all right, let me just get another. So there's more communication. Um, this, for some of you, this is going to be, um, how can I, how can I say this without my ad sponsors striking me down? The outcome is going to be intimate texting, physical phone calls, um, video, that kind of thing. This is like infatuation, crush kind of thing. Some of you might have started that and got to, to it being more. And, you know, don't, don't get self-righteous and say, oh, I don't do that. Everybody does it at some point, especially when both people are like coming together and, you know, sending pictures or things like that. Hey, listen, if you never did that and you don't do that, good for you. Keep at it. Be a beacon of light for the rest of us because we've all done that at some point or some most all right so i feel like that energy is playing out here and here's the king of pentacles again okay um person is definitely invested in you in a very like hmm physical way there's no doubt they have a very serious crush i want to use the word crush i know we're all adults here but i want to use the word crush they have a very serious crush on you and this person is just not going to let up they're not going to let you go virgo and they're going to keep trying <laughs> there's karma that's judgment hmm some kind of wake-up call is happening here, and I think you're going to see this. Now listen, Virgo, if you want to keep that going, go for it. Nobody's nobody's telling you what to do here. Just trying to pick up what the energies are. Um, there's definitely going to be a wake-up call, clarity, a final decision here. Hmm. All right, for some of you, this person, you know, is going to decide to really... Uh, work as a team with you with what you want um, but you just got to really be careful that you see this these these pentacles the pentacles represent the actual like tangible proof of that okay three of pentacles can be marriage you know um sharpening their knife their knife um you know i don't you know i, I kind of feel like for you virgo what's bringing this energy here is you really setting your standards with someone and coming from a solid, strong, secure place. You really setting and telling your, telling your other person, you know, you want long-term security, you want, you want uh, a secure relationship, you're not opening your emotions up to this until you know 100%. You know, you, this person, you may, uh, there may already be expression of romance or love um, you may express that as well, but also saying along with that, okay, um, I'm not giving anything else until I know for sure that we're on the same page. And I feel like that's all you really need to do because you're seeking this solid marriage or commitment, relationship, family, you know, this is that brick and mortar relationship, you know, this is like 
the house of love. <laughs> you know, everybody working together, contributing. Um, you know, re- someone to retire with, even. Okay, to leave a legacy, inheritance. You want the full thing. So if you're kind of in like a, um, you know, friends with benefits kind of thing, um, and you present this to this person. You know, they may go for it. You know, it may make a change with this person. But at the same time, it may open them up with the with the karma card to say, you know what, um, I may not be able to do this. I do have a thing for you. But right now, um, I'm focused on my other projects or I have school or I'm going back and getting my degree. I don't have time for a relationship. You know, they may just be honest with you. Okay, um, don't set your standards in a form of manipulation to get this person so that you get what you want. Set your standards because that's who you are. And, and regardless of what other people, you're living your life in integrity here. Um, and they very well could say, you know, I'm very focused on building my business or I'm doing other things right now. And, you know, maybe we could just continue on because uh, they don't want to let you go. There's, they'll still text you or message you. They still have this thing for, about you that you know, gives them a little growth in the middle of the night, male or female, or maybe you do, but there's still this, they'll still want to keep going with that. So you're going to have to like come to terms with what you want to do. Okay. Whether this has been going on for a really long time and you're in a situation ship or, you know, it is a relationship, but there needs to be more. All right, let's see. Let's get the love messages here. And then I'm going to get a couple of charms. Okay, new love. Okay, new love or recommitment to love is developing. So there is something definitely happening here. Your person may <clears throat> be trying to recommit to this connection, try to develop it for others. Um, you may have a new love. You may wind up communicating with someone else and have a wake-up call and say, you know what, I'm looking for something specific. And new love comes in, okay? Okay, I fantasize about you. So this is your person, I'm telling you. They have a thing for you. I don't know. They just fantasize. They think about you all the time. But they live in fantasy world. Um, they probably got caught thinking about you if they were with somebody else. Or, well, caught somehow. with Maybe they look at your pictures. Or their other, or their significant other saw things that, that, you know, you might not even knew that they were with somebody else. And I feel like there's going to be some truth as well. This person comes in and tells you, hey, you know, I've been in a partnership with someone else. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. And they still want to communicate with you and maybe try to make something out of this relationship. All right. I know that I crossed the line with you. I bury myself in work to forget you. Obsession. This person, someone in this connection is gripped, obsessive. They're obsessed with you. Children are important to this partnership. And it's time to decide about this relationship, Virgo. Wow. You want to keep it going? Do you want to stay with this person? Do you want to see if it goes somewhere? Or are you just like, nah. Okay, it says, all right, I got this last time, and what did I say this was? I'm probably just going to take this and move out, okay, uh, and stop looking at it. Oh, no, 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 it's, that's right. Well, I'll tell you two things. First of all, the first thing I saw was, oh, no, I forgot it. They're telling me, no, don't tell them that. Oh, yeah. They said fire hydrant, a fire hydrant. I don't know what that has to do with anything. But it's also a Christmas candle. It's also like um, keeping a candle in the window. This has all of the beautiful holly around it. It's a candle that's the flame is lit, is lit. And the, but it's been lit for quite some time because there's wax bubbling down from this wick. Okay. So either this relationship is nearing burnout and it's done or for others it's been going on a really long time and somebody is leaving a light on for someone just in case okay um either way 
decision is going to have to be made. And I think you're just trying to stay very positive about your love life. So you could wait until the candle burns out or you can make the decision now. Okay, here you have the key. Okay. Now either you're right now taking your key. Somebody just tried to open their front door with their key fob from their vehicle. That's funny. I just saw somebody like, wait, what am I doing? Um, you might be trying to open your car, or your door, listening, or you got the keys, you're using a key to open a door or something. Um, or you're looking for a key. If you lost your keys, or there's a key that's lost, they're saying um, it's over by the lamp or the light or a candle. Maybe on the floor. Okay, but this also is telling me that you have the key to either turn the door or turn the lock to open this door, open this relationship to, to move it forward, or you have the key to lock it up. So that's this decision that's coming through here. All right, one more, and then I'm going to be done because my readings are getting longer and longer. Okay, you've got love. You know, the words love. So maybe you've got love written on you somewhere, um, you know, on your body, or you have it hanging over a doorway, or there's little blocks that say love, or something along those lines. Are you looking at them, or you, you're writing the word love? Okay. They just gave me, I don't know what this is called. Um, it's a tool. <laughs> maybe your person's a tool. Right now you feel like, man, what a tool. This person's such a tool. Is this uh, pliers? That's what it is, pliers. Um, or somebody likes the flyers. The hockey team, I just heard the flyers. Um, but pliers, okay? Somebody's looking for pliers as well, or looking for some tools. Or you have someone that is, you know, they work in this kind of business where they use pliers and whatever it might be. Um, are you trying to do something with something and get something unhooked or released? And they're saying, get pliers, use the pliers. I feel like I'm going to hear something else about that for some reason. Give me a second. Oh my goodness, that's so strange. It looks like two fingers that are like, oh, it's about that size. <laughs> it's about that size. <laughs> I don't know. I'm leaving that one there. <laughs> All right, Virgo. I hope that that was fun. <laughs> and um, enjoy your reading. I have another reading. I've been trying to upload. It's been processing, uploading for like 24 hours. I think it's because I recorded it in 4K. And when I record in 4K, it takes like a day or so. So I won't do that again. But um, yeah, go leave your reading there. Link in the description box below if you want a personal reading. And I'll see you guys very soon. Love ya. Bye.